Hello YouTube, what's going on? In today's video, we are going to be unboxing 50 talismans from these 10 melting pots with Rolf Mystery. I have painstakingly saved them up over 10 hunts, so we are going to open 10 hunts worth and each of them will have 5 talismans in them, making a total of 50. And I can't wait to review my RNG to, with you guys today. Now, of course, the aim here will be to get the level 2 weakness exploit talisman. Currently, I only have a level 1 without any slot, so if I can get a level 2 from any one of these talisman out of the 50 that we are going to have today, I'll be more than happy. Of course, the end game goal will be to get a level 2 weakness exploit together with some useful second as well as some level 1 or level 2 slots. But nonetheless, let us open our talisman right away. Let me know in the comments below what you think of my RNG and what you think is going to you from these 50 talismans. And here we go. Alright. How many raids do we have? The raids one are the rank 7 talisman and we have 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 of them and the first one up is a rank 6, rarity 6, latent power level 2 with a level 1 slot. Alright, this is not that bad because I know latent power is quite a rare skill in some of the armor. I think only Zinogre and some other armors have only like level 1 in each of the pieces. So having a level 2 straight up is going to be ideal if one is going to aim for the latent power skill set in, the, uh, in your equipment and your, your gears. Right, next one, not so good. Rarity 4, we have a diversion and a speed sharpening. Well, the skills are not bad but the lack of slots in this talisman really kill it. But we keep it and see how it goes. And then we have a rank 4, bubbly dance and windproof. So bubbly dance, good and bad, is quite a controversial, uh, controversial and a new skill. So if you have experience with it, let me know below how good is it and how does it work out for you. Rank 3, Blight Resistance and Ear Plug, this is nothing to be excited about. Rank 5, White Range 2 and Speed Sharpening 1. Quite a good talisman for support. The White Range level 2 here and the 1 slot. Not that bad, but not what we are looking out for. Alright, the next one is the key. Rank 7, Rarity 7. Is there any weakness exploit? Oh no. We have a level 3 slot, a level 2 female and a level 2 dragon resistance. Well, dragon resistance or generally elemental resistance are not really that helpful. So on rank 7 and together with a free meal, I don't think that it is going to be much of a use. So unfortunately, 1 out of 13 of our rarity 7 talisman is gone right there. Now, next up, rarity 3 water attack 2. Now next up, Rarity 3, Water Attack 2 and Paralysis Resistance, alright, but once again, no slots is really a killer. Well, it, I do see some use for this in a water build, so we keep it and see how it goes. And then Speed Sharpening 2, Evade Extender 2 from a Rarity 4, once again, no slot. Fire Attack 2, Mark Resistance 1 with a level 1 slot, alright, this is at least there's some use in it in a fire elemental build, especially since now I'm looking forward to building a dual blade elemental build for each of the elements. So we'll see how these talismans, uh, how these talismans serve us when during uh, during my future building. All right, another rank four, thunder attack one, botanist, nothing exciting over there, and then we have our next rank seven and. Bludgeoner and Dragon Attack 1. Oh man, no, this is not what we are looking out for. Rank 2 slot and a rank 1 slot. Alright, so... It's alright, we have another one coming up and this is... Peak Performance and Quick Shift. With a, le a level 1 slot. Alright, Quick Shift. Quick Shift is a, quite a good skill for Long Swords and I think Long Swords 
Switch X? I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, but not one for me. Alright, three down. Ten more to go. RNG, don't let me down. Let's go. Rank seven uh rank six. Wire Bug Whisperer, not a very good skill. White range one, not a very good skill as well. Together with the level two slot and level one slot, I don't see much use on or much potential for this talisman. We have rank six, evade extender one and recovery speed. So far the skills that we are getting are not really that exciting, huh? Except for the first one, the latent power level two. Other than that, that really wows me so far. Come on, talisman. Do your job. Give me some excitement. Next one. Rank 7. <gasps> Critical Element 2. And Water Resistance 2. Well, if the Water Resistance 2 can be switched to some other skills, this element, this talisman, might see some use actually because Critical Element is. Although it has been nerfed from previous games, but at least it is still some form of bonus damage over there. And as a secondary skill, any bonus is fine, right? It's just that this water resistance is really taking up the bulk potential of this talisman. And what's more, the slots in this talisman is not that bad as well. We have a two slot, a rank two slot, and a rank one slot. So, hmm, the water resistance really ruin things. Really ruin things for us. All right, next. Steadiness level one, dragon resistance level one on the rank seven. Come on. We do not want any elemental resistance because elemental resistance they are just a rank one uh, decorations, so you can fit it in into almost any build. And yeah, having it on a testament is just a waste. And next, rank six, poison attack two, divine blessing one. All right, and two level one slots, not that bad. Rarity four. Rapid Morph 1, Geologist 1, and with a level 1 slot, alright. And next, our rank 7, Stamina Teeth, level 3, and a Jump Master level 1, but no slot, oh my god. Well, if this talisman have some slots, I'm, we can say that this might be a quite a good talisman because just one talisman alone, it fulfills two full skills for you. It gives you the entire Stamina Teeth, which will then mix Will then, which will then allow you to tie out the monsters much more easily and also jump master one, I'm not so sure about what the effect is but it is still a good bonus to have but the really the downside to this talisman is there is no slots available yeah rank 5, windproof 2, water attack 2 with a level 1 slot alright, nothing so good and then we have blight return resistance nah Rarity 4, Divine Blessing, Bubbly Dance again, but then no slots. Alright, two more rank 7 coming up. Give it to me. Oops. Sleep attack and fire attack. Oh no. This is a weird combo over here. With a rank 1 slot. Well. Not that bad. I can see it going into some wombo combos with into a dual blade elemental build, right? Hmm. We'll see how this serves its purpose next time. Next, rarity seven, ice resistance and normal rapid up. Well, I haven't played bow guns build so far or bow build so far, so I don't know how normal or rapid up is good in their build. So let me know if you have any experience with that weapons and how good is these skills but nonetheless two level one decoration slots on the rarity seven talisman mm, with the slack with the like luster skills not that great so far our rank seven talisman haven't been performing up to standard eh hmm next one rarity six slugger two steadiness one with two level one slots all right Plus attack one, level one slots. All right. Plus attack one is okay, not that bad. Because plus attack, other than from, I know the avenue to acquire these skills is quite limited because it is not available in decorations. So you can only get it from armors or talismans. So having one 
in the talisman is going to be quite useful. Just that the rarity of this talisman is a bit low, so there's not really free much freedom in terms of the slots for you to include other skills in, right? Rarity 6, Poison Attack, Flinch Free with 2 level 1 decorations, alright. And then Rarity 3, Dragon Attack, Ear Plugs, nothing that exciting. Rank 5, Vaginal, Poison Attack 2 with a level 1 decoration, alright. Speed Eating and Guard, no slots, nah. And then Rarity 3, Punishing Draw, Fire Resistance, no slots, nope. Alright, we are coming to the end. Last 5 rank 7 talisman. Come on. Don't let me down. We've got this. Level 2 and level 1 decoration slots. Horn Maestro. Quite a good skill for the hunting horns. And a geologist level 1. Mm, a bonus nonetheless. This could be quite a good talisman for hunting horns, but too bad I'm not into that. So maybe next time. We'll see how it goes. Rarity 4, 1 slot. Poison Resistance, Leap of Faith, nah. Another one, Resistance, Talisman, nope, not what we want. Last four, rank 7 Talisman, Maximum Might, and 3 level 1 slots. Oh my god, first 3 level 1, uh, 3 level 1 slots so far. So far, all the Talisman that we've gotten in this Opening has been 2 slots, 1 slot or 0 slots and this is the first one with 3 slots. Maximum Might, mm, nothing that exciting I guess. Steadiness, Fire Attack 2 with uh, level 2 slots. Alright, hey so far we have not come up with, we haven't encountered any weakness exploit. Not even a level 1 in any of these talismans. What are you doing man? Special Ammo Boost, level 1 slots from a rank 6. Leap of Faith, Divergent again. With a level 1 slot, alright. Rank 4. Wow! Attack boost 2. This is something. But, no slots. Oh my god. If there is a slot in this talisman, wow. Immediately, this talisman is going to see some use. And if this comes with a level 2 slot, guess what? Straight away, this, tal this talisman can give us a level attack boost level 3. Wow, okay. Not bad, not bad. So far, I have two wowing talismans. The first one is this. Is the latent power. And the next one is our attack boost level 2. So, alright. And then, our third last. Rarity 7. Here we go. Level 2 slot, level 1 slot. Punishing draw, level 1. Counter strike, level 2. Not, not that bad. I mean... Not that good either. Alright. We'll see how. Maybe perhaps you'll serve your purpose next time. A Windstorm Rarity 5 Talisman Wire Bug Whisperer. Not a skill that, that is generally useful. Razor Sharp. Alright. Razor Sharp is good. But no slots. Once again, a killer. Yeah. Rarity 6 Thunder Attack. Oh, another resistance. With a level 2 and level 1 slots. Not that wonderful. Rarity 5 or oh, another resistance talisman, we're gonna skip it. Recovery speed 1, punishing draw 1 with a level 1 slot. Alright. Speed sharpening 2, okay, not that bad. Evade window 1 with a level 1 slot, alright, just an average talisman. And then we will have our second last rank 7 talisman. Do we get a weakness exploit in this opening? Nope. A full paralysis resistance skill in this talisman with a level 2 slot and a level 1 slot. Alright, if in the future there's some crazy res uh, paralysis monsters, then perhaps this talisman will see its use. And what's more, with the level 2 and level 1 slot, it does provide some form of freedom in your builds so okay I'll take that <clears throat> rank 6 fire resistance to tremor resistance really on the rarity 6 give me a break really dragon attack 2 recovery up 1 rarity 3 no slots all right we're going to save this for the last 
our last two rank 6 and rank 7 talisman what are you going to be drum roll and here we go rarity 6 oh man recovery speed agitator both level 1 with a level 1 slots <sighs> Am I just going to be let down like this? Hand Faithful Hunts Monster Hunter Rise And you are giving me no weakness exploit Really? Are we going to end this like this? Last one Rank 7 Let's go Level 3 Slot Quick Shift level 1, Quick Performance level 1. Alright. Having a level 3 slot is good, but your skills, I don't know about that. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of this unboxing 50 Talisman. Let me know what you think of the RNG today, and let me know what have, you, have the RNG lived up to your expectation. Is this average, or is this what you have expected, or do you expect anything better? Let me know in the comments below and if you have enjoyed the unboxing so far leave a like and subscribe to the uh, subscribe to the channel for more exciting content coming up and also with that it's on to saving up another 10 more hunts of this what is this even I can't I'm so disappointed I can't remember your name huh? the wisp of mystery melting pot all right yeah 10 more hunts coming up and here we go all right let's see if we have the materials for it we have 10 all right we have some more all right we are going to have more huntings to do definitely all right i don't have enough materials to last so all right i'll work this out and Thanks so much for watching, I'll catch you in the next video, goodbye.